What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. Team of the Year is still in packs, so I'm going to try and get as many drafts done as today as possible. I've still got Foot Champs games to play, so probably only two, maybe three drafts to come, depending on how far I get. If you guys could drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. Let's try and go for... Let's go for the 4-3-3 attack. Much better formation than what we used in the last episode, which was the 3-4-3 that I hated. I'm going to, again, guys, just reiterate here, I'm going to take every team of the year that comes and I'm going to skip every version of that card unless it's their team of the year version. Um, I know I should probably take Inzaghi here because he links everywhere, but I'm going to take Suarez because I'm going to be going for La Liga, Messi and Ronaldo anyway. Um, yeah, if you guys could drop a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. I, f I feel like I've just been winning too much recently on draft. I feel like I'm due uh, a loss, an early loss. We're going to get Neymar up in there. That uh, 94 Neymar is fantastic. Shame he doesn't link with Suarez anymore. But a really good start to the draft with two absolute machines up front. Can we get Messi to finish this off? I'm not going to take him, guys. I know people get mad triggered when I don't take him, but I want the Team of the Year versions, and this Dybala card we have used several times, and it is sensational. So, I'm going to take... No, let's go for the for the mids first. Let's hope that we can get some, some linkable players in here. So we get Matuidi, who gets a strong link there into Dybala. Pjanic also gets a strong link in there to Dybala. Rafinha gets a strong link to Suarez, a soft link to Neymar. I'm going to go with Pjanic's four-star, four-star, medium, medium. Not the best defence, but really, really nice passing, dribbling and decent shooting. Matuidi, of course, is high, high, a little bit shorter. I think I'm going to go Pjanic here. We're going to take the... Uh, maybe I should have taken Matuidi for the French. The French is a bit easier to link, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to get Alan as well. Which is nice, because we can play Alan at Cam, and uh, or we could play him and give him a soft link to... Ooh. Man, we just got some good choices here, huh? I mean, the obvious choice here is Deco, right? Because he just links to everyone. So that's great news. Hey, I'll take it. That's not a bad set so far. Deco at Cam, Alan and uh, Pjanic in midfield. Everybody is going to get at least seven chemistry at this point, which is great. And I'm liking the look of this team. And that, that scares me. Because usually when I like the look of a team, it plays terribly. So, uh, we've got three Liga Santander players here. I guess we go... Could go with Lucinio. Could go... Yeah, see, we'll go with Hernandez. And now this is exactly why I wish I took Matuidi. He would have got a soft link into Hernandez as well. And it would have been a little bit better. Let's try and get some of those Team of the Year defenders. There we go. Bonucci sits in there. Okay, so he doesn't link to the left back. But we'll get him in there eventually. Very happy to have our first Team of the Year in. And this might just be... Oh, God. Might just be one nothing. Um, we're going to take Barbet there. He's got okay stats. But he gives a soft link into Hernandez. Which gives him seven chemistry instead of four. I very much doubt... He'll still be in the team at the end of it. And we're going to use D'Ambrosio. He's got a shadow card, so he won't be completely useless. But more importantly, he gives good links to everybody around that right-hand side. And now, I'm kind of glad I didn't take Messi, actually. Ooh, Handanovic, soft link. Ter Stegen, no link. Perrin, I know, gets a, I know Perrin gets a strong link, but I think I'd prefer Handanovic on seven chemistry. And our team is super, super high rated. If we could just sort that defense out, we're going to be in a great spot. So we're going to go and pick up the reserves now, guys. Yeah, we'll take we'll take Asabi, um, which will be obviously very good for chemistry and for rating. Pops us up to an 88 rated. We've actually almost got a full Calcio A team here. I don't think I've ever seen a full Calcio A team before. You usually don't get the players. Let's take Azpi Lequeta there as well. He's not going to get into the team, but he'll go onto the bench for a good um, a good uh, sub. Ooh. Ooh. Do we take Higuain and play Suarez? Like, we could put Higuain up front. He'd get perfect chemistry regardless. It would be great for rating. 
it boosts us up to 98 chem overall and then we can use Suarez as a super sub and I'm totally, totally okay with that. Let's see what we get up next. James Rodriguez, Cahill, Yarmolenko, Tolisso. Tolisso does well. Our midfield is clean, so it's just about boosting the squad up for rating or picking up those team of the years. So James Rodriguez can come in then. Our second ones to watch card. Another nice high rated card. And I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just going to go for my, like, my highest rated team now. Oh, now I can actually go back to Suarez. But the 93 and 86 is not as good as the 94 and 90. I could play Coutinho and Suarez. Suarez would get perfect. Mm, yeah, do you know what? Let's have a look at how that works. Coutinho puts us up to perfect chemistry anyway. Oh, that's actually just going to be better, isn't it? It does drop us in terms of uh, rating, but for chemistry, it's the same. Let's see. It doesn't matter which one we use, really, because one of them is going to be on the bench and the other one's going to be on the team. Now, the benefit of Coutinho is that he gives the left-back good chem and we're only one link away from getting the left mid on chem. That doesn't change anything, does it? No, it doesn't. Not at all. Hey, I like this team. It's a 187 so far. We've got a huge bench. I might get my first 190 draft here. I am just going to take the highest rated player every single time unless it's an exceptionally usable player to see if we can get ourselves that first high rated draft or our highest rated draft. So Sule... What rating is... Uh, yeah, Gulam is better, isn't he? Andy gets the, the links. So Gu we're actually going to take Gulam. I know Sule's higher rated, but G Gulam is higher rated than the left back. He gives perfect chemistry to Alan. We can now put Neymar back in the team instead of Coutinho. And uh, we, again, we could go... We could either go with Coutinho and Suarez and still get perfect chemistry, or we could go with... Neymar and Higuain and still get perfect chemistry. Uh, we could even go with Coutinho and Higuain and still get perfect chemistry. It just depends on what we want overall. Next on the agenda, we will take Benatia. We will play Benatia. Another upgrade to the team. So we're, I've got a good feeling about this, dudes. I've got a good feeling that this might just become my highest rated draft. We haven't got the team of the years that we wanted. Okay. There's only two ratings difference between Pires and Silva, and I think Pires would be such a good card to have in the team. In fact, I could take and start Pires instead of Alan, and it would be an upgrade to the team. But I can't take and start David Silva and make it an upgrade to the team because we don't have the links, unless, unless we do have the links, because we can play David Silva. We can play as Pilar Quater, but we don't have the Premier League left-sided player. So that would be stupid. That would be very, very stupid. It would be taking away. Let's take Robert Pires. I know he's not the highest rated, but as I say, he does help for team rating overall and boosting up the squad. Next on the list is going to be Vasquez at 82 rated. Two more spots to go. No Ronaldo or Messi so far. We're going to take Insigne. And that is, that's that. That's now... We are going to be using a full Calcio A team, with the exception of Deco. Could potentially put Pires in there. Are we going to get, however, the 190? That's the question. The last pick. It's got to be a big player for me. It's not. El Shirewi is what we'll take. It's a 187. That's re You know why it's a 187? Because my left back and right back are so low rated. Now, we can get it to a 188 with Azpilicueta, Equator, I'm sure. That is a 188. If we start Luis Suarez, it's still a 188. If we start Robert Pires, it's sadly still a 188. Now, it is my highest rated team at 188. It's just such a shame that the left back and right back are who they are. Because it would make a much higher rated team if I could just get rid of them and still get chemistry. And that's sadly not the case. Now, Asabi would have been all right at right back, but it's pointless, isn't it? Now, it just depends. What do I want to do? I definitely want to start Insigne. And I definitely want to start Dybala. It's just whether or not I want to start Suarez on 8 chemistry or 7 chemistry or Higuain on 10 chemistry. And then it also means, do I want to start Pjanic over Alan? 
I kind of do. So we're going to have Neymar and Suarez as our super subs. We have got a full Calcio A team, except for the um, the icons. Have they played for Calcio A teams before? Porto, Salagueros, Albuquerque. No, not him. And obviously, uh, with Petit. Um... Not either. FC Goa. Imagine that. So uh, I, I still count this as a full Calcio A team. I, I think that's fair to say because the icons are links to everyone. So they get all the all the links. So we've got some good subs here, guys. Rodriguez, Azpilicueta and Alan for midfield. Azpilicueta can even come into those fullback slots if he needs to. Neymar and Suarez up front. Gutted it's only a 188. Let's go and pick up our manager. Have we got a Calcio A manager? We have not. Who's off chemistry here? Pires. Oh, wow, literally just period. So just French. Oh, wow, I don't even have a French manager. How about that? The one player, the one manager that I need, I don't even have. So it doesn't matter. So, guys, we get a 188 team for our draft. This is a very, very good team. No Ronaldo and Messi on this occasion. Only the one team of the year, Benucci. But what a strong team. Let's hope we can do good things with this. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a crazy team. Team of the Year, Ronaldo, Modric and Messi. Inform uh, Griezmann, inform Germain and ones to watch Lacazette. Inform Ter Stegen. A bit of a weird defence, but he did sub out Denis Suarez immediately. I'm not sure if he also took out his left centre-back immediately too, but the subs were made. Did it make a difference? No, it didn't. I wasn't overly keen on some of the players in this team, although we've got a full, obviously a full Calcio A team, but we started off really well. Deco there uh, being one of the players I wasn't overly keen on. I also remember, guys, as I was looking at building the chemistry up, I had Pires at Cam and Deco at centre mid, or Deco at Cam and Pires at centre mid, and I was looking for a French manager to be able to give uh, Pires full chem. I could have taken the Portuguese manager that I didn't take, swap Deco and Pires, and then Deco would have been on full chem and Pires would have been on full chem because he was in the right position. So I uh, failed on that one. My apologies. I'm sure some of you guys picked it up. We went 1-0 up and uh, got it back to 2-1. My opponent's team name was Dab. I didn't dab after the first goal. Uh, he did dab after his first goal, so I dabbed on the second goal. He dabbed on the second goal. 2-2 two -two after 40 minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo just too good, man. Honestly, the 99 Ronaldo is too good. But we get through with Neymar. Beautiful little fake shot stop. Gets to the edge of the box. A McGeady spin of dreams. Cuts the angle. Shoots and scores. And we go 3-2 to the good after 53 minutes. The goals didn't stop there. Dybala turn... Sorry, Dybala. I've always called him Dybala and it's Dybala. Uh, Dybala... Turning the defender, gets into the space, keeps running, finds Insigne. Insigne with the fake shot stop, threads it into Deco. Deco just rolls the defender and hits that near post OP shot to make it 4-2. It then became 5-2 not too long after. Pires into Deco. Deco finds some space in the midfield. He's not pressing me too hard. It goes into Neymar. Neymar finds the angle, cuts the space again and drills that one into the bottom right-hand corner to make it 5-2. My opponent did pull one back in the 89th minute. Lacazette here picking up the ball, plays it into Ronaldo. I did get a save off there and unfortunately Ronaldo just too quick to get to the ball to make it 5-3. And uh, we thought that that might have been all she wrote for this game. But kickoff cheese OP. Dybala down the right-hand side. Gets into some space. I was thinking about just holding the ball. But uh, the chance fell to uh, Suarez here who came on as a sub. Gets in behind. The guy just backs off and backs off. He evades the tackle. Finds a space. And James Rodriguez who also comes on as a sub. Manages to just tap that one home. And we go through 6-3 into the second round. So a nice strong dominant performance in round one exactly what i like to see uh, in terms of possession and chances it was quite even but i just create the more chances effectively into the second game come up against a 90 km 85 rate team some interesting players there Driss again in at center back matic Cazorla, sane musa and felipe coutinho a lot of off chem players here but generally quite a strong squad a little bit slow in the midfield uh, you know coutinho is not the quickest haji's not bad but his two cdms were quite slow and we end up getting the first goal Missing the corner there from Bonucci, but the goal kick comes out. He passes it straight to me. I'm always there ready for that. Dybala, oh sorry, Dybala with a fake shot inside. Hits a uh, regular shot and makes it 1-0. I apologise because it's laggy game and, uh, you know, it was like he passed it out to me. But into uh, 30 minutes here, we get a good through ball through to Insigne. 
Insigne gets in behind, chips the goalkeeper. I thought I'd hit that shot a little bit too late. You know, pulled the keeper out and then let him go back towards his line. But fortunately enough, we got the goals that won us the game. We go 2-0 through sailing into the semi-finals. So another good win under our belts. Wins on wins on wins for us at this moment in time, which is obviously fantastic. A good dominant performance there. Possession, passing, shots, chances. Generally speaking, we was doing okay. And into the semi-final we go, guys. We've come up against a 3-5-2 team, a low-chem team. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo was brought on for Nkudu, and Slimani was taken off for I cannot remember who. Um, I'm sure we'll see in the, in a second. But generally speaking, it's a really, really nice team. Funnily enough, if he actually put Slimani to the right-hand side and Aguero to the left-hand side, Mares would have got perfect chemistry. We end up conceding the first goal, Ronaldo just getting in behind, and this is exactly why Ronaldo is the best player in the game, in my opinion. You know, he just leathers that one past me after getting in behind my defence. And uh, it's just unstoppable. And again, here you see it again. Cristiano Ronaldo down the left-hand side. Manages to bump the defender. Not only that, but also gets a shot away again on his left foot. And it just drives underneath the goalkeeper. I did everything I could there to defend that. You know, I got my body in the right position. I shielded the player. But Ronaldo just too strong, too fast, and too good at finishing the ball. We did get back into the game, however. Pires into Neymar. Neymar with a beautiful little touch there past the goalkeeper to make it 2-1. But sadly... Our win streak of dreams comes to an end. Really unlucky to drop to Keane there. Three defenders in the way of Keane's shot. None of them auto lunge. The day that you want an auto lunge, an auto lunge doesn't come for you. So we end up going out in the semi-final today. I created my chances. Two saves for my goalkeeper, six saves for his. I created my chances in that game, but unfortunately I just wasn't able to take them. I did have a feeling the win streak was going to come to an end eventually. I think that was like 40 two or 46 games one in a row so this is going to be the end of the gameplay guys let's get in to the packs all right guys so we end up losing in the semi-final i knew i was due an early loss i could just feel it coming um this team was all right that that game was just really frustrating i played perfectly into my opponent's hands man he just wanted to counter me with that ronaldo i missed some sitters i missed a cut i think an open goal with neymar missed some simple chances with suarez uh you know i was in the game at 2-1 and i had a chance and then he gets a really lucky goal from the corner. Frustrating as hell, but it's my own fault, ultimately. I played absolutely into his hands, you know. He, he kept using the right thumb, the, the right analogue stick to just push the ball with Ronaldo and then sprint at it. And me, being an idiot, kept pr pressuring him aggressively and letting him do that. All, when all I had to do is if I just stepped back a few yards, he would have either just pushed it into me or pushed it and I would have been able to turn around and, and pick it up. But I played aggressive because I was losing. I, you know, I slipped into a mindset that I haven't slipped into for a while of, oh my God, I need this ball really, really quick. And it just let myself down. I did create more than enough chances. You saw the match stats at the end there. I had, I think it was like 12 shots all from in or just on the edge of the box. And to only come away with one goal was really disappointing. I hit the crossbar once, I hit the post once, I missed an open goal once. Uh, he tried running the ball out with his keeper and I stole it off him and I still missed the ball, missed the net. It just wasn't meant to be for me today, guys, sadly. So we had a full Calcio A team there and uh, we were unable to win the draft as a save. That's the first time in about 10, 12 drafts that we haven't won the draft. So can't really complain. We get a premium goal pack and a jumbo premium goal pack. Of course, we've made about 1,800 1800 coins back from the match earning. So we're looking for about 13,000 coins here and we're going to get ourselves... Kadamuro. Now, this guy probably is worthless, which is a bit of a shame. We also get Scott Dan, Blanco, a couple of uh, consumables. We probably made about 3,000 back off of this pack at most. Let's say 3,000. So we're going to need about 10,000 coins from the um, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack to actually make our money back. So it's very unlikely we're going to make our money back off of this draft. We're probably going to take a loss here. But it's not the end of the world. It's been due. As I say, you know, 10 draft wins straight. No problem at all. And we're going to get out of this pack nothing. Not even a shine. Not an inform. Not a, not a special card. We get a few players there. What's this guy? French League 1. Kohade. Is this one of those guys that's worth a fair bit? No. He's got about 400 coins in him. We're holding for now. I mean, we're going to pick up about... Yeah, maybe, I mean, left wing to left mid is okay. We're, we're, like, we're nowhere near. We're, we're, we're coming in with a huge loss 
um, on this draft, probably somewhere around the 5,000 coin mark of a loss. So, as I say though, dudes, it was due. You know, it's been it's been a long time coming. We've won considerable amount of drafts in a row, and uh, it was always going to be one of these days we was always going to lose. I'm going to try and get one more draft in before team of the year is done, just so... Um, just so I could try and pack another Team of the Year player. Hopefully we do much better with that one. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.